Um, all right. Next one is from Evelyn J. Hi, John. So I was reading an interview of Rupert Wyatt, who was once signed to direct Gambit, saying the flop of Fantastic Four killed the Shannon Tatum movie. But it got me thinking that with the Fox Disney deal ready next year, could it be more of a blessing for Tatum that the film never happened before? Because now they could do a movie with him, who very much like Ryan Reynolds with Deadpool is his passion project now with Kevin Feige behind it. Love the show. Thanks so much, Evelyn. And for, for those of you who don't know what Evelyn's talking about, and this, this is really the headline here, is we had heard before that we've known for a while they've been trying to get a Gambit movie. They've been trying to get a Gambit movie. And they had the, the first, the Rise of the Planet of the Apes director, Rupert Wyatt, on there to direct it. Now, the official word at the time was changes to the script caused the budget to inflate. And that's what killed uh, the Gambit movie at the time. Well... Rupert Wyatt just did a, was talking about this situation, and he paints a very, very different picture of what happened to the Gambit movie, and apparently what killed Gambit was Fantastic Four. Now, here's what he had to say. He said, we were close. Like, they were just going to be shooting, like, two months. within. They were two months to start shooting Gambit. We were close. I believe 10 weeks away. It simply came down to budget. There was not enough. You know all too well about the politics of the business. Fantastic Four had been released by Fox a month before and had not gone well for them. So our budget was slashed quite considerably. The inevitable, from my perspective, was, well then, we need to rewrite the script to tailor it to our new budget. But we were too close to a start date for Fox to really want to go there, so unfortunately... It just simply didn't work out. So the new story that we're getting on, on what happened with Gambit, they were within two months or almost two months of starting to shoot. And then Fantastic Four was a fantastic flop and it probably cost them a lot of money. And that's Fox's own problem. That's, that's their doing. That's their fault. But at any rate, so that flop, so they were like, ooh, and they got, they got scared. They got scared. And they're like, oh. Well, let's change everything about this. They acted very much in a, a in a way Warner Brothers used to act with DC. Oh, react, 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 right? Even though they were just within a couple of months of shooting this new movie, they're like, okay, uh, slash the budget. And it's like, okay, well, we can't make this movie for the budget you want us to make it with, so we need to rewrite it. Nope, you got to start shooting when we start, start shooting. Okay, then, and he's gone. And that killed the whole project. Now, as far as the email part about asking about, isn't this a good thing, like now that Kevin Feige can come in and do it, I don't think Kevin Feige is going to have any interest in the Gambit movie. I, I, I just, I know, I know I'm not basing that on anything, Rob. I'm not basing that on any, <clears throat> you know, insider knowledge or any inside baseball stuff. But it just yeah. strikes me that the picture that they were painting with a Gambit movie, which I was curious to see. It doesn't sound like something that Kevin Feige would be interested in. So let's go back to being in this, Rob. Number one, you hear this story about like what happened to it. What are your thoughts on that? And what do you think the future of a Gambit could be? Well, I mean, look, Gambit is is a, a ladder. He's an X-Men character that was introduced in the, what, two, X-Men 266, I think. I mean, he's not like one of the core X-Men characters. They're, they're going to concentrate on their marquee characters before they're ever going to get around to Gambit. I mean, you know, Gambit is a secondary X-Men character at best. And and I think that I think the odds are are little to none. I mean, they're going to carefully they've got to figure out how they're going to bring mutants even into the X-Men universe or into the MCU. How are they going to bring that we don't know. You know, and it's 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 going to be fascinating to see what they do, but I don't see Gambit happening anytime soon. Heck, where's the new mutants movie, John? They shot that. <laughs> Where are the new mutants? Indeed, I mean, I, I mean, we and we. For those of you who don't know, like we were talking about the new mutants here just a little while ago, and that's the fact that they. It looks like that thing may go straight to home video now. Like they were supposed to do mm. reshoots in November, they haven't even done the reshoots on this stuff yet. But let me ask you, Ashley, do you have any interest in a Gambit movie? Is this something that, like, as somebody who's not like the hardcore comic book movie fan, is that something that would appeal to you with a Channing Tatum attached? Well. I do love Shannon, but uh, probably not. I don't know. Honestly, no. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's that's the thing right there. I don't get that sense from a lot of average moviegoers that they'd want 
a gambit. Now, there's going to be fans of the old X-Men cartoon. Da -da 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 -da. I used to love that cartoon. Anyway, <laughs> that would love to see Gambit. They want to see the Gambit rogue romance. We've been dying to see it for a long time. But yeah. I got a feeling if Kevin Feige is going to do Gambit, I don't think it's going to be the Channing Tatum version. I think they're going to go in a different direction. But we will have to wait and see. And who knows? Depending on the contracts that have been signed, maybe they can't do a Gambit without Channing Tatum at this point. I mean, I mean, we we just don't know. But those whatever contracts those were, they're still legally binding, because when Disney takes over Fox, they also inherit any obligations to any contracts. They inherit those too. So maybe there's more to this than we understand right now. We're just gonna have to wait and see how this all plays out.